If you're trading Forex, stocks, cryptos, commodities, anything, and you're not journaling your trades, you need to start. Let me tell you why. First of all, accountability. Keeping a journal keeps you accountable to your trading plan. If you journal all your trades and stick to it religiously, then logging a trade that doesn't fit your trading plan is going to be painful. And this alone can be enough of an emotional trigger for some people to prevent them from taking that trade that they know they shouldn't. You know the one. Secondly, reflection. Having the ability to look back on your trades with a clear, unbiased view, without the pressure of actually being in the trade, usually results in you noticing things that may help you improve. If you don't record the trades, you'll never review them. Third, and maybe most importantly, improvement. Using a good journal will highlight the areas of your trading that are causing issues. This could be anything from poor emotional control to insufficient win rate or risk to reward ratios. If you don't record and analyze your trades, then these issues will likely remain unknown to you. So what should your journal look like? I'm going to show you one that I've built as an example. So here on screen, you can see the Discipline Trader Premium Trade Journal. Uh, this I have spent a long time developing with the input of other journal users, which I'll get onto in a little bit and show you how that works. But initially, the first page that will really matter to you is this dashboard. Now remember the themes of the trade journal we were talking about, accountability, reflection, and improvement. So accountability. This basically works with a trade journal when you are entering the data. It's like having that person over your shoulder watching what you're doing. If you're going to enter a terrible trade that you know was a terrible trade into your journal, you're not going to want to do that. So hopefully that will give you the impetus to not take these those silly trades. But a trap that people can fall into is that when they do take those silly trades, they don't want to put it in the journal, so they bin the journal off. That's not going to work. Make sure that if you do fall into the trap of making silly trades, you put it in here and then you will build that sort of pain of having to enter that in and hopefully that shall serve you in the long run. But initially, as you open this journal, you can see that you're faced with your overall statistics. Now, if you're trading well, these are going to look good. And if you're trading bad, these are going to look bad. So if you start to get on a little bit of a roll, there's going to be that momentum. There's going to be that impetus to not ruin your good performance. Now, a losing trade doesn't ruin your good performance, but a trade that doesn't stick to your trade rules does. Uh, and, you know, you make too many of them and you're going to be taking too many losses. So again, this gives you that accountability factor. The trade log's super easy to, to complete uh, when you first get this. There are a couple of uh, prompts, but once you've read them and implemented what they've said, you can just click on them and delete. Now this is super simple to, to fill out. I've got a more in-depth video showing you how to enter your data into here. Um, so I'll leave that up in the cards above and the description below. But this is just a simple sheet where you enter the data. Really, this is the only one where you have to do any recording as far as your trading goes. The rest of the tabs on this journal are all breaking down this data just in different ways. So trade summary, again, this is gonna help you keep not only your accountability better, but this is where we can see that some of that reflection and then imp subsequent improvement. This is this will give you a bunch of data points where, that you can monitor your trading through. Uh, so you can see on the left hand side, we basically got a breakdown of all the trading data that's entered in this journal uh, as a whole. And then on the right hand side, we've got this broken down month by month and you can change the year up here if you if you trade on multiple years and you can even break this down by strategy. So if you trade different strategies, you can break this down here too. Um, and this will just enable you to monitor the performance of different aspects of your trading, and you can make sure that it's trending in the right direction or not moving in the wrong direction. Um, and again, if you're starting, you know, if you're new to trading and you're starting to build these habits, you'll be able to see, hopefully these numbers get stronger and stronger as you get better at implementing your strategy and holding yourself accountable to poor trading and then obviously making the improvements. Uh, we've got a strategy tracker in here as well, so you can just see the difference between the strategies a little bit more clear. We have a graphical analysis page so that you can see the, the trade data in a more graphical way. Some people just like to see this uh, more visually. It just makes more sense to them. But I mean, even these graphs can be of a great use. So for example, the trade duration versus result, you can see how, or if there is a correlation between the duration that you hold the trade and the result of the trade. It might be that if you're holding on to trades for far too long, uh, they tend to not do as well. Now, this could be indicative of something like 
holding on to trades that you shouldn't be in, hoping that they come back to break even or a smaller loss or even a total reversal. And you might be able to identify these patterns by looking at the data that you'll find in a journal like this. Profit and loss tracker, this just shows you the day-to-day -day profit and loss uh, for your trading. Now this can be a good way of highlighting past days where you've maybe had a bit of a stinker. Uh, maybe you've had you know, five, six, seven trades if you're a day trading and you've closed pretty pretty down, you know, you've lost quite a lot of money. You can then, when you're in a better frame of mind, come back to the journal, see that obviously some mistakes have been made on that day and then dive deeper using this journal to try and find out what went wrong with that trading day. And something that helps you do that is this mistakes tracker. So you can label each trade with a mistake label if you feel appropriate. And this will keep track of how many of these mistakes you've made and ultimately the capital cost of those mistakes. Uh, and it also shows you this in a graphical format to the right hand side. Now you can restrict this by date if you want to, uh, just so you can see if this is getting any better, say month on month or year on year. Uh, and again, that will help you stay accountable, reflect on the results that you're seeing within your trade journal and hopefully make the improvements that you need in order to get better. Uh, the journal variables tab is just some sort of it's just admin in the background really, just uh, options that you need to configure for the journal. Now this is like top of the top. This journal is brilliant, it's been developed over months and months with various different users. You don't need something as good as this in order to start getting better at trading, but this is a really simple journal to use and you can see that it offers you a lot for, for the uh, small amount of work that is required to keep it. But a journal like this will help you stay accountable. It will enable you to reflect on your trades and it will enable you to hopefully improve on your trading performance and get better as the months and the years go by, which is what this tool is designed to do. If a trade journal is not doing that for you, then it's probably not worth you, you know, spending the time and effort completing that journal. Um, so this hopefully will give you an idea of what a journal uh, could look like or the things that you can include. Obviously, if you're comfortable in Excel or you like journaling your trades in paper or however you want to do it, hopefully this gives you an, you know, some inspiration on how you can do it. And if you just want to use this one, feel free to head over to the Discipline Trader website. All you need to do is head over to disciplinetrader.co.uk. If you scroll down the home page, you'll find premium trading journals. You can click on the link and that will take you through to the page where you can find a little bit more about them. Uh, and then obviously purchase them if you want. They're $39.95 and that's GBP. The website will obviously handle all uh, other currencies as well. And when you do purchase this journal, you do become part of the journal community. So like I was saying, there's been a number of people that have used this journal and given me feedback, uh, found bugs, we've had requested new features that have then sub subsequently been implemented. Uh, there is a number of people using this journal in this community now and we've made it a really robust and uh, fantastic tool really for trading and uh, so it's a massive thanks to all my community members here, uh, the journal community members, uh, for helping helping me get the journal to this stage. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what my premium trading journal looks like, that's what the one I've made looks like. Um, hopefully that gives you some inspiration on, uh, on keeping a trade journal. And if you want to join our community and use our journal, feel free. Like I say, I'll leave details in the description below. Thanks for watching traders, stay disciplined, and I'll see you next time.